So this year marks a decade in my journey of using Linux as one of my primary OSs. I wanted to create this video to help you um, understand that uh, it's not really difficult to use Linux, uh, obviously to a user who is not familiar with the technical side of things. Um, to be honest, there's no need for using Linux, but if you want to learn more and uh, uh, explore the world of uh, Linux and its various distros, uh, it's a good idea to start using uh, Linux as one of your OSs. There's a lot of things you can learn just by using Linux as a daily driver. Um, obviously, there are going to be a lot of issues and most of the time that's how I learned about um, the internals of Linux. Um, also needs a little bit of curiosity to be honest, but um, that is my journey so far. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to install the NVIDIA Linux drivers because that's probably one of the most common issues I faced um, in this past 10 years. There are going to be other topics I want to talk about in future videos, uh, but then in this one, let's just focus on installing Linux drivers, um, the NVIDIA drivers for Linux. I've also tried to document most of my learnings through various uh, technical articles on Medium and my website as well. And there are a few uh, YouTube short videos describing the uh, various uh, CLI tooling or commands that you can use uh, in the ZSH and Bash shells. So uh, as you can see, there's a command line here. How to get around it, how to get navigate the entire system using the CLI, the command line interface is something I've covered in shorter uh, YouTube shorts and Instagram reels that you can uh, watch. A little bit about myself, I'm Sahu, I'm a software engineer by profession, uh, but on the side I also do photography, videography now because of Instagram and YouTube, and also write technical articles and personal side projects uh, uh, to help me learn and continue growing in my software engineering journey. I really appreciate if you can subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to figure out is if you have any Linux uh, NVIDIA drivers installed. Um, obviously, I'm using Ubuntu here, but it's going to be very similar in, in your system as well. And that's one of the reasons I want to focus using the CLI because the UI will obviously be different. So here, if I go to the settings and go to about, here you'll see that I have an NVIDIA uh, GTX 1070 Ti but the uh, it doesn't really show me what my drivers are for some reason in ubuntu it's under software updates so we go to that section uh, wait for that to open up and then here in additional drivers you will see is just searching for drivers that are installed if your main purpose of using your linux machine is just to get around using the the desktop as a ui and just to um, normal stuff like browsing the internet, create documents, uh, watching videos, all those sorts of stuff. Most of the time, these one of these options will indeed work for you. So, for example, the one that I usually used to use was the X server, X org, the Nuvo, the new video drivers. Uh, that's something I used to use for a while. That's open source. Then there's also the I usually go with whichever says tested. So that's what I used to use. But now if you see it's showing it's a manually installed driver. And the way to install these one of these existing drivers is you just hit one of these uh, radio buttons and then just apply those changes and it'll install uh, in the background. But the problem is, uh, I'll show you what I ran into once. So here if you see, uh, just zoom in a little bit. So as you can see, um, it gave me an error. It said, uh, Obviously, there is a package dependency. I know how to get around it by installing the specific uh, dependency that it requires, uh, which usually is just a sudo apt-f uh, install. But as a user this is who is not familiar with uh, installing drivers, this is really daunting. So I'm going to show you how to install all of this manually so you can understand what's going on behind the scenes. So the first thing you want to do is uh, search for NVIDIA Linux drivers and um, go to their website. Usually the latest version will indeed work for you. So here, let me select my graphics card. So that is a 10 series. And then it's a 1070 Ti. I'm on li Linux. 64-bit uh, and then search. So usually you will most likely end up using the latest version. So let's see what the list of 
uh, available drivers are. And that's the thing, not all of the drivers, uh, all the versions of the drivers are available for Linux. So you'll have to just see what's the latest and probably just go with that. Um, so let's just wait for this to open up. So it looks like uh, this is the latest 570.17208. Obviously there are other versions here, so you can see and uh, decide what you need. I'm on uh, AMD64, so that's what I want. I'm not entirely sure if this supported on ARM, but anyway, that's a different video altogether. So the other requirement I have is this Linux machine is part of a Kubernetes cluster and the GPU on this machine is supposed to also be available inside the workloads uh, in that uh, cluster. So these sorts of complicated scenarios can't really be solved by using this this uh, this selection here. Obviously, if one of the versions matched, I could have tried it, but I think that's what I tried before and that was the error I got. So I was like, let me just try to install all this using the CLI. So to figure out what version is supported in my uh, Kubernetes uh, GPU operator by NVIDIA, we can go to their uh, it's called the compatibility matrix so let's go to that page and then here they have listed out the versions of the gpu driver that are supported by the nvidia gpu operator the gpu operator is essentially the um, thing you have to install to get your gpu available as a resource inside kubernetes if you're not using kubernetes don't worry about it just you can you can actually just skip to the part where I start installing the version of the driver. So here as you can see a lot of uh, options available here but I saw that in this list and these this list the thing that I found was matching was this 535 to 47.01 I think this has changed recently uh, this wasn't available before 570 172 so now this is also available yeah July 17 so I just did it a couple of days before so it wasn't available then so i went ahead with 535.247.01 so now let's assume that's the version you want um, and now let's go ahead and actually install the driver so the first thing you have to do is just check if you have uh, parts of nvidia uh, drivers already installed and the way i do that is using a dpkg-l this is very debian focus so dpkg is debian package manager this might be different on uh, arch or uh, other uh, linux distros so check your manual i guess or just check online i don't know just ask chat gpt i guess um so checking the list of uh, packages installed and then seeing anything that's related to nvidia nothing's installed because i installed everything usually what happens is you'll find something that is installed so what I do then is do an exorgs on that. So what I did before is found all the packages. So for example, if I just do a dash L and let me get the first line here. So as you can see, this is the package name and then that's the, all the version details and stuff. So anything I found, and obviously if you see there are a lot of Linux commands here, but all of these are explained in the YouTube shorts and Instagram reels that I've created. So you can check those out separately. Um, back to the command. So get a list of all the installed packages. See if anything has NVIDIA in it. Print the name of the package. So the second column and then do a sudo apt purge and yes. So just delete all of those packages. What that, that does is any existing packages related to NVIDIA drivers will get deleted off. Um, and one of the reasons I do that is to get a clean slate install. So once that's done, what you need to do is uh, also check sudo app list. Sometimes there is an overlap, but yeah. So here if I do a sudo app uh, list installed grep NVIDIA, it will list all the packages which are installed and has the word NVIDIA in it. Apt is not really recommended for CLI, that's the warning. So you can use apt get. Uh, oh, looks like apt doesn't even have the dash dash installed. I don't even know what the option is. But anyway, uh, I had a few and you do pretty much the same thing. You get the list of packages to an apt purge and delete off those packages. At that point, what might happen is your graphics or the display manager as it's called 
might start to glitch out so you might have to switch to full uh, terminal mode and uh, so it's a good idea to have a physically wired keyboard connected this is this is a bluetooth one so it might get disconnected um, it has not happened yet with me but i always have a wired keyboard just in case things like that happen so what you can do is you do alt control alt f2 or f3 or f4 whatever and then that will take you to full terminal mode um, next what you have to do is uh, go back to your website here uh, we selected the right version right so that was 535 uh, 247.01 go view and then just download a file which is which has an extension of dot run so here if you see yeah so here it's a dot run file so I've, do I've done that already and uh, here I have that file already and um, to install this all you have to do is do sudo dot slash nvidia just like path through that file and uh, oh actually before that it won't be executable so you have to do a chmod to so change the modifier and add executable and then make it executable like this and then you can do sudo dot slash nvidia blah 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 and then install it but um, i had a whole issue with this as well what happens is if if you install this as is and you upgrade your Linux kernel, um, the NVIDIA uh, driver doesn't really work with all versions of or the upgrades of the kernels. So it has to build for a specific kernel, right? So if the kernel gets upgraded, the drivers won't start, will, will not continue to work. So the way to do it is you add this option called as DKMS. So this is dynamic kernel module support. So what that means is if your kernel gets upgraded, this will be able to build a new module for the uh, latest or whatever the version of your kernel upgrade is. So to do that, all you have to do is run this command. And this is where I ran into the first error. And essentially, there was a mismatch in the version of uh, GCC, the new uh, C compiler. So the fix for that was to install the right version of GCC, which is GCC 12. And the way I found that out uh, was by looking at this log file that was written by the NVIDIA installer. So just to recap, you run this command which is just running the run file from the downloaded uh, driver page. Uh, don't forget to pass dash dash DKMS for dynamic kernel module support. Run through the setup and then make sure you say pretty much yes to things like uh, do you want to support 32-bit uh, compatibility? Yes. Uh, do you want to make changes to the X uh, org file so that NVIDIA drivers are, re <coughs> are rerun whenever you restart your display manager. Yes. So make sure you say yes to all of those things. It's a good idea to do uh, an NVIDIA dash SMI. So this is the tool that will show you what processor. First of all, it will show you the driver version and uh, uh, what is the drive, uh, the GPU you have and all the things like temperature and stuff. And then also show you a list of processes that are using your GPU. So these are all the processes that are using it. And also how much memory they're using. So if you see this and the version of the driver matches the version you originally intended to install, everything is done. You can go ahead and do a reboot and uh, also do a fingers crossed because that should hopefully let you finish off your driver install. Everything should be up and running fine. Um, if you do end up with issues, most likely will end up with the same uh, terminal, terminal mode. So you can try and do the same steps again to clean off the existing drivers, try to install and say yes to all the things that it asks for. Um, if it succeeds, uh, great, do a reboot and check. If it fails, check the uh, log file this one so var log nvidia dash installer dot log and this will have the most amount of details that you want to fix that issue and 
it's highly likely that uh, somebody else has faced that issue. All you have to do is just search for it online. You're going to find uh, the issue that you're looking for. So if I check my cluster now, uh, I have the NVIDIA uh, feature discovery or that you don't really need to worry about this if you're not using Kubernetes, but uh, everything is running fine here. So that means my Kubernetes cluster also has GPU support uh, using the same GPU on this PC. Um, and if I show you what I'm using that for is for this. So I'm, I have Olama installed. So I'm using, oh, I think I just restarted the machine and did a few things. So Olama is restarting. But uh, I have uh, an upcoming video where I'm going to be talking about how I'm running uh, most of my Gen AI workloads locally on my Kubernetes cluster. So it'll have a couple of tools that I want to showcase. Uh, but this was a video about uh, giving you a uh, a very specific methodology in terms of how you want to install uh, the NVIDIA uh, drivers on Linux. Uh, it's one of the biggest pain points I have had since I started using Linux. And thankfully, now I've sort of found out a more structured way to go about it. So I just wanted to share that and hopefully you found it helpful. If you want to uh, learn more about my um, other sort of uh, side projects that I'm currently working on, things around software engineering, uh, one of them is this uh, home lab running a Kubernetes supporting ARM. And one of them is an, a finance based app to help me remind, uh, to help remind me when to pay my bills. That's called pay your bills. Um, all these sorts of uh, videos are covered in uh, various um, playlists that I've created on YouTube and shorts on YouTube shorts and Instagram. So uh, I'd really appreciate if you give a subscribe here and follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, if you want, if you have any questions related to any of these or your um, thoughts on using Linux in general, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to get in touch with you. Uh, I think I also shared my LinkedIn uh, here if you want to get in touch with me. So that'll be uh, great as well. Most of my projects here on uh, YouTube that I showcase are open source. So you can check my GitHub and uh, try to contribute if you want. Or you can also uh, use those projects for your needs. So um, and always feedback is appreciated. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, hopefully this gets you uh, up and running with installing NVIDIA drivers on Linux and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.